Hi, it's Dr. Mimi Guarneri uh, at Pacific Pearl La Jolla. And before I even start this update, I'd like to really first acknowledge Memorial Day and all of the veterans that have really given us the democracy that we celebrate today. Uh, my own Uncle Charlie is up on the hill on Soledad Mountain, and um, I'm really uh, thankful uh, to all of our veterans. So thank you for allowing me to live in a country that's as glorious as it is. Well, today uh, we have about 5 million people in the world affected with COVID-19, and I'm sure you're hearing all of the negative statistics. Uh, in the U.S., we've tested over 12 million people to date. And we're starting to learn some interesting things. And uh, the beautiful message is that from all over the world, scientists, clinicians are coming together, sharing information, and hopefully coming up with a vaccine and some real credible treatments. Uh, unfortunately, I'm uh, hearing from my colleagues in New York again, uh, the impact that this is having on children. Uh, right here in San Diego, uh, we have 81 children under the age of nine years old uh, that have been affected uh, by COVID-19. And it can be everything from a mild illness to a catastrophic fatal illness. Uh, so again, we have to uh, not only protect the adults, uh, but we have to protect everyone. And so that's my reminder for all of us to continue being vigilant. And what do I mean by that? Uh, wear your face mask. I'm sure you're used to it by now. Uh, wash your hands. Use your hand sanitizer if you need to. Uh, but remember, soap and water, soap and water, soap and water, good hand washing, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, uh, goes a long, long way. And as a clinician, I'm a little bit anxious about uh, the reopening of things. And I understand the need to boost the economy and get people back to work. Uh, over at Pacific Pearl, we have been doing our best uh, to not have any layoffs and to keep everyone working. I know everyone is not that fortunate, uh, but even as we do open up slightly, we need to not let our guard go down because that's where uh, my personal fear is. If we let our guard go down, uh, then we're going to end up having spikes in our numbers of COVID-19. And we've done a great job in California. Uh, we really, really have. I mean, right here in San Diego County, we have about 6,000 people with COVID-19 and about 222 deaths. And honestly, next to other places in the world, uh, that's really very, very small. Uh, we have been uh, talking a lot about um, potential treatments down the road and uh, vaccines. And I'm really uh, encouraging everyone to get their serologies checked. We'd like to know if you do have antibodies to COVID-19, particularly if you have IgG. Uh, I don't know how long that immunity is good for, no one knows, uh, but it would be good for us to know and for you to know if you have some level of protection, especially if you're someone who's been ill uh, within the last few months with an unex unexplained illness, particularly in December, January, February. Uh, lots of great work is uh, happening uh, right here in uh, Sorrento Valley. Uh, antibody trials are being conducted. That's uh, antibodies that can actually go in and block the virus from entering cells and neutralize, if you might, the virus. Uh, there are very interesting vaccination studies going on, uh, particularly uh, uh, Moderna, Pfizer, uh, Oxford, uh, all looking at the vaccines that create what we call neutralizing antibodies, antibodies that can actually destroy the virus. But in the meantime, until we have uh, magic bullets, we need to boost our immune system. And we boost our immune system with all the fundamentals that we teach at Pacific Pearl uh, La Jolla. How do we boost the immune system? We get the right micronutrients and nutrients. We get a good night's sleep. We get out and we exercise every day and we spend some time in nature. Uh, we connect and we have our social community, our family, people we live with, people that we are uh, close to. We can connect via FaceTime and Zoom and so on, but our community and our connection is really, really important. Uh, so there are many things that we can do and We've talked about taking our nutraceuticals, our vitamins, our supplements, all to support our health. 
it was no surprise to me that all over the internet last week, everybody was talking about the lowest levels of vitamin D, the worst COVID. Countries like Italy and Spain, low levels of vitamin D, the worse the outcome in those patients with COVID-19. Uh, and the same is true, I can tell you, for vitamin C and a host of other uh, supplements. And again, we're not saying supplements cure COVID-19. I would never tell you that. We want to strengthen your soil. And uh, that's where we put a lot of our emphasis. So just like eating the right foods and getting a good night's sleep, getting off the sugar and simple carbs, spending time in the sun, taking a hot sauna and sweating and detoxing. These are all positive things that we can do for our body. So, blessings. And finally, I really would like you to ask yourself each day, what did I do today for body, mind, and spirit? That's our holistic approach at Pacific Pearl La Jolla. What did I do for body, mind, and spirit? And I hope to talk to you soon. And uh, all of you pearls, I hope we get you all back in the office. Have a great weekend. Happy Memorial Day.